okay so let us start okay so first of all just tell me, uh, what is the dominating mode of the heat transfer in general application let us suppose if you talk about the ic engine in that case what is the dominating mode of heat transfer sir heat transfer is more dominating is radiation if it is greater uh, than thousand radiation is the radi radiation sir if it is greater than thousand kilometer okay and how do you Compared define the radiation any remaining conduction conversion transfer okay and how do you define sir, the radiation mode is, of heat transfer is a mode of one mode of heat transfer hello yes yes sir continue radiation is of any medium Yeah, this your voice is breaking and your, your voice is breaking too much i'm not able to uh, hear anything clearly there's a lot of noise in the background and it's continuously breaking no No, it's not audible. It's not uh, okay. Hello. Sir, I'm audible. Hello, sir, yes, I'm audible sir. now. Yes, you are audible now. Okay, now tell me, what is the radiation mode of heat transfer? Sir, radiation mode of heat transfer is uh, it does not require any medium. It can transfer heat through the electronic mechanisms. Okay, and what is the governing laws of the radiation heat transfer? Governing laws of the radiation heat transfer. Sir, radiation of heat transfer. We use the laws like the Stephen Boltzmann law, and okay. another wind displacement law, Planck's law. We use this. Okay, that's three laws okay. we use in the heat transfer. Okay. Okay. How do we define the uh, Newton law? Newton law of cooling. Sir? How do you define the Newton, Newton law, law of cooling? cooling? Uh, so Newton law of cooling states that the uh, states that the whenever the hot hot solid body is there, the surround hot solid body and the cooling fluid is surrounding it is directly proportional to the uh, area surrounded to this and the heat transfer coefficient and temperature difference area surrounded to this and the different temperature difference between the hot body and the surrounding temperature. Okay, and what are the various factors on which the heat transfer coefficient depends upon in the case of free convection? So free convection heat transfer coefficient depends upon acceleration due to gravity Z beta. Beta is a isobaric volume coefficient. Delta T delta T is a temperature difference, and L length characteristic length, and uh, rho mu C P K. Okay, let us suppose if you have a plate, okay, which is having mm -hmm. a dimension of ten meter multiplied by two meter, ten mm -hmm. into two meter. Okay, mm. and if it is placed in the three different mm. configuration, let us say the first configuration is the horizontal. Okay, mm. the second one is the vertical, the ten meter mm. side vertical, and the third configuration mm. is uh, vertical with two meter side vertical. Okay, then tell me which configuration will cool faster if the surrounding is a at, surrounding is at a very low temperature. Sir, the ten meter which is in vertical it is cool faster because it is which one length surround uh, vertical which is ten meter. Which is cool okay, faster? Why so? Why so? It is. It is placed in the vertical position, which is we have relation between nusselt number. Uh, nusselt number is equal to H D A by K. Here, uh, the area which is cooling the heat transfer is more when it is vertical due to the gravity buoyancy force. The heat uh, surrounding area is more. That's why the mm -hmm. heat transfer will be more from the uh, evaporate more from this vertical plate, which is having 10 meter length. In vertical position. Okay. Okay. What is the variation of the heat transfer coefficient over the flat plate? Variation of heat transfer can, coefficient. It will yes. Be, can you can you show me the graph between the heat transfer coefficient along the length of the uh, surface? Check heat transfer coefficient along the length of the surface. Sir, it is actually H X is directly proportional to X power minus one by two. It is in the It is a directly proportional x power root one by root x from the equation uh, lambda to over the flat plate. Uh, Nusselt number is equal to zero point three three two into Reynolds number power zero point five. From that relation, we can get the graph like 
curve shape like this, sir. Shall yes, I? Sir, your, your camera is not. Uh, your your screen is not visible. Sir, am I visible now? Yes. Yes, sir. Sir, this one. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Sir, it is visible. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Yes. Okay. So it is continuously decreasing. Okay. So after some distance, it is constant with the length. No, so it is it continuously decreasing up to this point. Okay. Okay. And what is the variation of the heat transfer coefficient? Uh, in the case of pipe. When in the, the case of pipe. Say, turbulent. Yes. When the flow is let us say turbulent. Turbulent. No, sir. I didn't get there. I forgot it. Okay. Okay. What is uh, what is Prandtl number? Prandtl number is the ratio of. Uh, movement and uh, movement and uh, coefficient of the movement and uh, coefficient of the thermal diffusivity. Movement and diffusivity of the thermal diffusivity. A prandtl number plays a very crucial role in uh, when uh, it is in the ratio of hydrodynamic boundary layer to the thermal boundary layer. So it is either relation hydrodynamic boundary layer to by the thermal boundary layer is equal to prandtl number per one by three. If it is based on this relation, it will be mm -hmm. the boundary layer of the therm thermal boundary layer will be high or may, may be low than the hydrodynamic boundary layer. So and why we consider the Prandtl? Yeah, that is okay. And why we consider hmm. the Prandtl number as a property of the system? Why you consider Prandtl yes, number? Why as we as consider the Why we consider the Prandtl number as a property? Property of the system. Because Prandtl number is a fun. Uh, it is depend. Maybe I think whenever it ta taken for free conventional flow, forced conventional flow, uh, Prandtl number is one of the function of. If you take a Nusselt number, it is a function of pressure number. Uh, Nusselt number in case of forced conventional is a function of Reynolds number. Come Prandtl number in case of uh, free conventional is a function of Grassoff number. Uh, comma Prandtl number. Maybe it is a function if we used in this. Both the scenarios, it can be many, many, many. The one of the reasons we consider it is a system property. Maybe it plays a very crucial role. I know about this. Okay. 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 What is the use of fins? So fins are the fins are provided to the uh, outside of the uh, surface to increase the heat transfer area to cool cool the uh, engine for a fast in case of icy engines. So what is the variation of the Yes, just tell me one thing. What is the variation of the temperature? Uh, what is the graph of the graph between the temperature distribution along the length of the fin? How does the temperature? What varies? is the graph? Yes. How does the temperature varies over the along the length of the fin? Length of the fin is actually three cases are there, sir. When fin is infinitely long, when let us suppose if I talk about the uh, very long fin. In that case, what is the variation? It is variation along exponentially. Exponentially. Okay. Okay. Let us suppose if you have three configuration, three configuration. Mm -hmm. Let us say the first one is having a dimension of four into four centimeter. The second one is having a dimension of eight into two centimeter. The third one is having a dimension of ten into one point six centimeter. In that case, just tell me which one, which configuration will be used for the fin and why? What's the what's the which which configuration I will? Choose? Yes. Which configuration will be used for the fin and why? The first is four into four. Second is eight into two, and the third one is ten into one point six. Ten into one point six. Sir, I will choose. Square. Hmm. Sir, I will choose square square one. Which one? Ah, uh, so we. Wait, 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 sir. So with this, we lost nothing. Sir, I will choose eight, um, ten, ten into one point six meter. Why so? Sir, if it is length is uh, very long, when length is long and the width is small, I think the if you consider for ice skin engine case, uh, we use the. Very the it should should be the thin and uh, it will be the tightly packed. That's why the heat transfer will be more from the fins. That's why I will use the more length and less width. 
Fin. Fin. Okay. Okay. How do you define the effectiveness of the fin? So the effectiveness of your fin is defined as the uh, heat transfer with fin divided by heat transfer without fin. It is the ratio of uh, how much okay. heat transfer by with by the fin and how much the heat transfer. Let us suppose. Fin. Let us suppose if you have a fin. Okay, of having a config, uh, of being have having a dimension of ten into one point six centimeter, it is having a length of fifty centimeter. Let us say, the length is fifty centimeter. Now, okay, if you cut the fins, al, uh, if you cut the fin into two part along this center, okay, okay. I mean to say now we have two fins of ten into zero point eight and length fifty centimeter, and in the previous okay. case we have only one fin. Of dimension ten into one point six into fifty centimeter. Now tell me, out of these configuration, which one will be better for the heat dissipation? For the for the for the better uh, heat dissipation. For the better heat dissipation. Better heat dissipation. Yes. Maybe two fins will be better. Two fins will be better. Let us suppose if you uh, cut the fin in the perpendicular mm -hmm. direction. In the perpendicular direction, mm -hmm. let us first uh, just wait a minute. Let me share the mm -hmm. thing with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this was the diagram. Mm -hmm. In the first configuration, we have a fin of dimension ten into one point six into fifty centimeter. Now, what have you what have you done? I have just cut the fin in the vertical direction here, something like this. And now we have two fins. Mm -hmm. Now we have two fins mm -hmm. having a dimension. Of ten into one point six into twenty five centimeter. Okay, into one point six. Now we have two fins oh. of length twenty five centimeter each, but the area of cross section is same. Okay, so then tell me, out of these three configurations, which one which one will be better for the heat dissipation? So, I think. The law first one is a little better if you cut it vertically because the as before I said the length should be more compared to the width. Which configuration is better? Uh, which configuration um, is better? The fin with fifty centimeter length. The full uh, the fifty centimeter length because the if you cut the two fins at the middle then the uh, Length will be decreased and the width will be there. Okay. Okay. Hello, Just sir. Let me find out. Yes, yes, we are audible. Let us provide more feedback. See, first of all, the answer which we are providing you regarding the convection mm -hmm. part as well as regarding the heat part, it or it it is good. But okay, the answer the explanation is good. But the only thing is the speed of delivery is very very uh, high, very fast. Okay, so just slow down. Just very fast. Yes. yes. It's very fast. Just slow down it a bit. Okay, everything else is good. And regarding the fins part, mm -hmm. first of all, the which the reason which you are providing me that ten uh, into one point six is better. That answer is correct. But the reason it is, it is not so accurate. Mm -hmm. Here you have to compare the effectiveness of the fin. Mm -hmm. So if you see the effectiveness is directly depending upon the ratio of the parameter by area. But the area of all these three configuration three configurations mm -hmm. are equal. Okay, but only thing the parameter is varying. So mm -hmm. I can say that the parameter, the parameter by area ratio of the last configuration, that is 10 into 1.6, is more mm -hmm. as compared to other configurations. That is why mm -hmm. the third one is the much better configuration for the same area. Okay, that you can understand. And the and the last part when I have cut it in the perpendicular direction, that configuration will be much better mm -hmm. because majority of the heat will be lost through the thin and the initial half length of the initial half length. Okay, you can understand this mm -hmm. way. Around 70 to 80 percent of mm -hmm. the heat is dissipated along the First half of the length and the remaining 20 to 30 percent of the heat is getting dissipated along the second half of the pipe of the fin. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay, so that you understand. Okay, Understood. Anything else you want? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, I didn't answer two questions regarding Prandtl number something else. Yes, why is this as a property of the system? Just read it about it. Just read the definition mm -hmm. or the basic definition. What is how we define the Prandtl number? Then you will get an idea. It is basically a ratio of the two properties here: the thermal oh, yes, diffusivity and the kinematic strength. Thermal momentum diffusivity. Yes, thermal diffusivity and the momentum diffusivity. Okay, so, okay. okay. The kinematic viscosity. It is a ratio of these two parameters. So that is why it is considered as the property of the system here. Okay. 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 Okay.